Morning. Um, listen, I've got a meeting this morning. It's uh, it's quite a big one, actually. Could lead to a bit of expansion. Right. Well, don't look so happy about it. I'm sorry, I've just woke up. Well, I'll tell you what. This will wake you up. Trust me. I'll give it. Yeah, hang on. Let me in. Oh, hi. Hi. Ian, I'm sorry if it drops you in it, but Alfie's offered me my old job back starting oh, today. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, I'll get Jane to fill in for you at the chicken. Right? Oh, thanks. Go on. Oh, wish Alfie luck for us. Fill in. Would have nice to have been asked. It was only a few extra shifts, love. I'm in. Hello. Oh, hi. hi, we're in here. Um, yeah, I'll check on Bob. Uh, your name, my address, what's the deal? Why have they sent that out? They're not supposed to send anything out, the idiots. Yeah, but I thought things were OK between you two now. <sighs> Sorry, I should have said something. No, you don't have to, darling. It's... I know I've said I think he's great, but I don't have to live with him, do I? Look, it won't be for long. Once I've screwed enough away, I'm gone. No trace, no trail. Gone for good. Boy, I mean, he's not even dressed yet. Don't sort him out for us, will you, love? Well, why me? Well, why not? See you later. Yeah. Look, I will do the shopping, you can do the carrying, you can put those big muscles to you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, please. Roxy, I am busy, you know. You're actually turning into your sister. Right, that's it. Get your credit card. Come on. Going large. Oh, there you are. Hello, babe. Oh, say, I'm sorry. He's all mine today. <laughs> uh, no, he's not, actually, because he's got two training sessions. One that starts in 20 minutes. Sorry. Well, go on then, go, go and do what you've got to do. Jane. Come on, man. Jane. Eleven at the Vic Grand opening. Be there or be nowhere. Oh, wow, the excitement is just too much, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Be my guest. Uh, properly, I mean, <laughs> like a masseur. Oh, you know that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I could learn. It'd be perfect symmetry. You work the clients into a sweat, and then they come to me to get their aches and pains sorted out. That way, I'd be more hands-on. <laughs> yeah, peroxide. <laughs> you were never a girl scout, were you? Girl guide, boy scout. Oh, whatever. You don't have a tired bone. Yeah. Granddad, watch and learn, yeah? Oh, Look, even she doesn't know. No, not a thing. Well, do us a favour and find the time. I've got to go. Hello. I thought I had you talking to someone. Me? No. I've got a dash, though. Mm. Hello. Oh, what are you two doing here? Ian called us. Yeah, said he had an announcement to make. It involves you as well. If it's any consolation, babe, we could be in the Vic right now. Yeah, better now than when everyone's drunk. When you say announcement... He just said be here and, uh, well, wait to see the look on your face. <laughs> So where is it? Oh, forget it. Let's just all go over the Vic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got bogged down in traffic. Traffic? Where the hell have you been? You've been sneaking around, making little calls and plans and telling people you've got announcements. Yeah, I've got an announcement. Come on, what? follow me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Happy new Sunday. Um, here's the, uh... The date for the court hearing. But they're bound to let you adopt, so I, I thought you should start getting used to being his mum. Uh, <laughs> Just because I wasn't in your tummy, it doesn't mean I don't think you're my mummy. <laughs> so what do you think? In a few weeks, we'll, we'll be a proper family. All together, I mean. It's everything you ever wanted. <laughs>